Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really special guest. I've got Dr. Vinita Rattan. Yeah, we've got an official doctor up in here today. <laughs> and she's basically skincare specialist, hyperpigmentation specialist as well. And literally like I follow all her videos, Aww. like they are Bible, Aww, basically. Yeah, yeah, and so do my sisters and everything. <laughs> basically today, Vanita's gonna go through my skincare routine or some of my favorite products and they are all pretty high-end products so you know when you're splashing the cash on these expensive products you want to know if they are Dr. V <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through some of my skincare faves Yeah, and you tell me the real tea tell yeah. me if they're good they're not good I mean we're gonna start off by saying until really like has everything <laughs> like you need to look down yeah. on this table <laughs> because I've never seen so much skincare by one guy and I feel and this like this is me being selective yeah this is this is her like really picking <laughs> yeah I was like, okay because when I was picking vitamin C's I was like okay let me pick all the vitamin C's that I really like yeah because yeah. I was like I, just, I need to know because I switch it up all the time yeah. I, I don't know like if, it, if it's really, really great for skin color. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's the thing, Dr. V focuses. I call you Dr. V. I'm that's like, yeah, I'm like, so it's <laughs> yeah, you focus on the hyperpigmentation skin and being brown. I mean, we all worry about hyperpigmentation. It's literally our biggest concern. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it is. And I get it around my mouth, around my nose, around my, under my eyes. As you guys know, I cover it up in every makeup video. I mean, it would be great to go makeup free and not worry about hyperpigmentation. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, so it's gonna kind of we have to be a bit more careful. So basically, with us, our melanocytes are larger and they are easier to trigger. This is the stuff I couldn't tell you. <laughs> so I always say, one scratch, one bite, one burn, and we hyperpigment, and literally one mosquito can take down our skin. It's so true. Yeah, it's so true. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have to be really careful. We actually have to be more careful than Caucasian skin. We're because, delicate, we're fragile, yeah. you know? That's what it is, yeah. we're extra special. Yeah, that's we need to be more educated. Yeah, it's true. More empowered. Yes, yes. With our skincare, so. Yeah, definitely. So let's go step by step. And actually I've gone through some of the jars, but none, you know, none of the jars actually have ingredients on them because <laughs> they're on the boxes and the boxes are right now in the dustbins. <laughs> Yeah, they're gone. They're, gone. they're being recycled right now. Yeah. So instead, I'm going to be pulling up all the uh, ingredients on my phone and one by one telling you whether to buy or whether to avoid. I'm actually um, kind of scared because like, these, <laughs> these are the things I really like. And I, I'm just scared you're going to be like, I Should I give you like a heads up now or not? No. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Just tell me what to use. Tell me all the good things. I've got, I've got backups for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, let's start off with okay, cleanser. Yeah. Okay, so starting off with the Clinique. So she's got to take the day off a cleansing balm. And I'm actually really happy with this product. This I like. And honestly, I really um, struggled to find a good balm, which uh, oil-based cleanser to mm. remove stubborn makeup. Because I love wearing makeup too. Yeah. And, you know, before when we thought makeup wipes were the way forward. Yes, oh my god. Do you remember those days? Yeah, you'd come home after a night out and like be going like, through makeup wipes. Yeah, yeah. Like, tugging at yeah. your skin. Yeah, literally. And then the white wipe is not even biodegradable. No, like, <laughs> no. Oh my god. Actually, speaking of, I think these ones oh, are now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, right. So definitely this one is a Dr. B approved. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so the next one is by Terry. Hold on, let me just. This is my word. toner. So yeah, this is one of the toners that I like to use, and it's basically got rose petals in there. Like, oh. look at that. It's really pretty. I mean, I like it because it's pretty. It's beautiful. Well. It, it is beautiful. Nice. Okay, so by Terry is the next one, and on here it's got perfume, quite high up actually on the ingredients level list. It's got alcohol. Um, which leads to free radicals in the skin and leads to premature aging, which you don't want. And fragrance is the number one cause of contact dermatitis. If you don't know already, like when you watch Dr. V's videos, you all know that fragrance is it's like, not your friend. yeah, exactly. It's that not your you need that on a t-shirt. I need that on a t-shirt. You do need that on a t-shirt. I do. I do. Yes. I've got let your melanin glow. Let your melanin glow. <laughs> Doctor V approved. But Dr. Dr. you, approved. but you need fragrances, You're not, not your, your friend. friend. Doctor V basically hates fragrance in skincare. What about makeup? I don't like it in makeup. To be fair. 
do you know what? I actually have been asked so many times to go through makeup and go through mm, the ingredients list. And that's the next thing on my list. But I'm you scared should. because I just know. Can you imagine how far behind skincare is? And then yeah. you think, where do you think makeup's at? Yeah, don't. I don't even want to know. Yeah. Because I might listen, not even make the video. Yeah, look, I enjoy <laughs> putting makeup on. I know. I don't want to like go to everything. Yeah, like, I can't, I can't do this. So, yeah, I know. No. Sometimes just age yourself. Okay? Yeah. I'm just going to let my It's fine. Age. Just no. age. Just, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Age. Yeah, it's right? fine. I'll just, I'll just cancel it out with like good skincare. That's it. That's it. Balance. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Some of the other ingredients in this are geranial, citronellol, um, and linalool, and eugenol. So these are all basically names of fragrance. So this is where it gets a bit tricky because you think, hold on, surely they should just write fragrance on the package yeah, so I know don't buy it. Simplify it. But you're going to find these sorts of words. So these, write this down, guys. These are the words to look for because these take are the notes. most common. Take notes. Because <laughs> as I go through, I bet you anything is going to be the same fragrance in a lot of these products. And so geraniol, citronellol, linalool. Those three are, oh, they're, they're the most irritating. Oh, I shouldn't use this. Yeah, I think let's get rid of this one. We can definitely do better. Oh, okay. I'll tell you something that's better in a second. Okay. <laughs> Okay, next one is Paula's Choice 2%. I know I'm doing good with this. Yeah, I mean, on, honestly, majority of Paula's Choice, I absolutely love. She's one of the very few brands, her brand, that is based on science and yes. not on fragrance. Yes. Which, and marketing, which yeah. is a well, whole thing. Uh, this is great for mask me. Anyone that's getting hormonal um, outbreaks, then you need to cyclically change up your skincare. Yes. So the week of your period, okay. put this on. I put it on every night. Yeah. I mean, if you, are you normally, do you normally break out? I like to just manage Fine. and control the So control, yeah, yeah, that's brilliant too. And because yeah. you said not to use it, on here it says yeah. to use it twice a day, but you said- Too much for Yeah, us. for us, yeah. we only use it at night time, so Yeah, that's I, I would even say like two to three times a week, probably at really? night. Really? Okay, okay, If you don't have oily, acne prone skin. Mine's like combination. Masking. I have like combination skin. Yeah. I tend to get like oily in the t Here zone. and then dry here. Yeah. So do you just put this here? No, I put it everywhere. Okay. If you're, I mean, if you're fine here and it's not causing you yeah. She's fine. Oh, I, th I, th I think a lot of people get moss me right now anyway. Yeah. Are you wearing a lot of moss when you go out and stuff? I wear it when I go to the shops, but yeah. I'm not really going anywhere. Not that much. No. Okay, yeah, fine. We're basically just hermits now. Yeah, literally, I like being at home. Yeah, it's fine. So. This is brilliant. It's got no fragrance in it, and it's got a lot of humectants in it. So it's actually one of my favorite 2% salicylic acids. Okay. So this is a definite. So this is vibe. this is a treatment. I'm, I'm using it in the right way where I've cleansed. I do do it like a, a normally a foam wash, which I don't have. I normally use like CeraVe or something. Cerevia? That's yeah. fine. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Dr. Bye. Bye. Bye that. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then obviously toner and then after toner I use this. Okay, yeah. So that's brilliant. Okay. Um, so uh, the mistake people often make is that they will exfoliate first and then tone. Yeah, no. Yeah. You should tone first yeah. but with a hydrating toner. Yes. Because Imagine you just washed your face, you've taken off the oils from your skin, mm. and you've actually irritated your skin. Mm. And remember, with skin of color, we cannot afford any irritation. We have to be really gentle with our skin. It really needs extra love. So <laughs> let's hydrate the skin, and yeah. then you go in and exfoliate, and then you treat in yeah. that order. Would I use vitamin C at night? Yeah. Okay, would I use vitamin C in the day? Vitamin C are not all the same. So there are many different types of vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where it gets a bit complicated. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the thing, like for example, sodium ascorbophosphate, magnesium ascorbophosphate, or tetrahexaldecal ascorbate. Yes, fine to wear during the day. You wouldn't wear L-ascorbic acid during the day because the pH is about 2.5. I'm like, two... vitamin C? Sorry, I know. <laughs> I can't even say what you're saying right now. That, that's just my job. Yeah, like, I if know. If you asked me if I had a yellow eyeshadow, I would fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we should have swapped. I want you to have your job because yeah. it's so much fun. I don't want to have your job. <laughs> I don't, don't want to have your job. That's so funny. I would, I would mess up pronouncing things all day. I couldn't do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so vitamin right. C. And not all the same. So you literally did bring down, literally. Like, they're all orange. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so let's go through these one by one. I want to ask you as well. In the evening, and this is when I want to do all my real, real treatment. Excellent, yeah, yeah correct. So would I use retinol yes. or glycolic yes. acid, all of those treatment kind yeah. of things with vitamin C? Okay, yes. So first of all, vitamin A goes on first. 
Okay, your vitamin, your retinol, vitamin? retinol. Okay, retinol oh, goes on first. Is retinol vitamin A? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So my favorite form of vitamin A for skin of color is retinaldehyde. It's twenty times as effective as retinol. Okay. But with zero side effects, which oh. is key. Okay. So retinaldehyde is by far number one. The next best right now is retinol. It may change yeah. in the future, but right now. Um, retinol is your next best friend and maximum I would say is 0.5% retinol. So you would go in with your retinol first, yeah. your, your vitamin A, yeah. and then your vitamin C? Yes, so then you can layer with other actives that you want and you, depending on your skin, what you require. Okay. So yes, I love vitamin C, I think it's great. Okay. Um, my favorite is tetrahexyl decalascorbate. Yes, I know, fat -soluble. I know. Yeah. It's, yeah. The reason I say it is because it's the only fat soluble vitamin C. Okay. So number one, it has no pH, so it's brilliant. It doesn't yeah. irritate your skin. Number two, it goes into the dermis to restore your collagen. And we've got the epidermis. Yes, and then, and then the, the dermis. dermis. Let's oh. get in that dermis. We need to, <laughs> uh, just so you know, we lose 1% of collagen every year from 21 years old onwards. Oh my, oh my God. Yeah. You need to tap that soluble vitamin C. <laughs> okay, so will, will that put the collagen back in? It will in? restore it. Will. Would you use glycolic acid? Um, I'm, this is my least favorite AHA. Okay, but would Maximum you use glycolic 5%. acid with retinol? No, because you wouldn't want to irritate your skin with retinol and then put an acid on top. Okay, see these are the things that we need to know, yeah. guys. I either pick retinol or I pick glycolic acid. Yeah. That's what I do. Correct. Another mm. thing I really, really love is, please tell me you like this. This is the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules. It's actually really good. <laughs> I am so pleased because I've basically started using these again. I completely forgot about them, started using them, and I've seen such a huge difference good. in my skin. Like, my touch wood, my skin has cleared up massively. Okay. And I use it nearly every night. Okay. Sometimes I give it a break, yeah. and then I'll go back to it, and I you like really, it? really, really so love it. So this is really good because it's got multiple ceramides in it. It's got multiple peptides in it. Uh, it's got sunflower seed oil, which is a, which um, hydrates your skin, and it's got a low percentage retinol in it, which is necessary for our skin. So actually, this is a really good product. And I'm actually really shocked because often the high-end products are, I'm just not, I need you I to do like. a video on, have you done an Elizabeth Arden no, video? No, should I do it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Please right, do, I'll do because it. I really like their stuff. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Right, so after retinol and glycolic acid, those are, those are kind of like my two nighttime series. Glycolic and retinol, your yeah. two, your two yeah. main things, right? Yeah. Okay. So what I was confused about was if I can use retinol and vitamin C in you the can. same. You can. Okay, these are the three that I have right now that I'm currently using. So this Murad one is new and it's a, a vitamin C and glycolic acid. So when I use this, I don't use my glycolic acid serum because yeah. obviously this is yeah, like yeah, a two yeah. in one. Okay, so looking at this, the second ingredient here is glycolic acid, Yay. which means it's likely to be quite high, probably <laughs> like eight to 10%, it's gonna be quite high. It works though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> She's really like into her product. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> why. so bad. I'm like, that's why I like, like it. Like it, she loves it, she loves yeah. it. I tell you what it is. Most it's people are gonna. In it as well. Uh -huh. Oh my see? goodness! Yeah. she's actually finished the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> like, like way down here. The reason, look, most people are gonna be fine with glycolic acid. The problem is, it's not zero percent reactions for skin of color, and that's my aim is to have zero percent. So what if you don't reaction. react? So like, for example, for me, I don't have sensitive skin. So if you don't have sensitive skin, it can lead to sensitive skin. But. If you love, love it, and it's really helping you, and you're not burning with it, then I'm not gonna like judge you for it, you know? Like, Please, no, yeah. I'm never gonna judge you. If you wanna wear it, wear it. I, <laughs> it's on you, girl, basically. <laughs> it's your problem. Oh my goodness. You burn your skin. <laughs> yeah, there are, basically there's better AHAs. Okay, so my best, my favorite AHA for us would be mandelic acid or lactic acid, up to about 7%, okay. brilliant. Okay. Why? So is lactic acid, is that an AHA? Yeah. Okay, okay. So again, you can have, you can have everything. You can have your and eat it and I'm all about having your cake I'm and eating trying, it. I'm trying to eat the cake and eat That's what well. I'm talking about. Yes, I'm Why are you to. giving yourself 50% of the cake? Because okay. in this product they've also put ascorbic acid. So ascorbic
ascorbic acid is the most irritating form of vitamin C. So imagine I put now high percentage of glycolic and now the most irritating form of vitamin C. Plus, don't forget, when you're using vitamin C as an antioxidant, it only stabilizes if you have other antioxidants in the product. But here they've got no other antioxidants in the product. Yeesh. So you don't even know how effective the ascorbic mm. acid even is. Is it even working? Well, maybe it's just the glycolic acid in this that's yeah. working. Yeah, glycolic is great. I'll tell you what it is. You put glycolic acid on your skin, or any acid for that matter, glow. it just takes that top layer of skin away immediately. Your that's skin's what's probably, it's probably it's making addictive. you... It's probably making you glow, and then you think it's the vitamin C as well. Yes. And maybe that's why the percentage... Yeah. Oh my God, look at me! Yeah. Look at my side. Yeah. On. Yeah, that's why the it's glycolic an illusion. acid... It's an illusion. The percentage is higher. Yeah. So I have two more here, two okay. more vitamin Cs that I really like. I'm nervous about this one. I know, so am I. <laughs> See, they're getting some stuff right and then they're getting some stuff wrong. I know it's fragranced. Yeah. It's definitely fragranced. Yeah. Okay, let's talk a bit about fragrance and how bad is fragrance. Is it really that bad? <laughs> I'm like, do we want to talk about how bad fragrance is? We're going to talk about this one. <laughs> okay, so this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. This is actually their newest vitamin C serum. Yes, it is. Okay, so they did get some things right in this product. For example, they did put in tetrahexyldecal ascorbate, as you know, is one of my favorite the vitamin fatty Cs. One. It's, yeah, it goes very good. Look at you. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm learning. <laughs> and then they even put in the ethyl ascorbic acid, which is great because now what they're doing is they're combining vitamin Cs. Remember I said you want to combine multiple antioxidants, antioxidants. in order to stabilize yes. it. Otherwise, how do you know it's going to work? You don't just use one and then that's don't it. Don't just use right. one. Because it's oxidized. The oxygen oxidized. It. and you're putting it on your skin it's just a waste of your money and time and everything mind blown so they did some good things but then they kind of ruined all their hard work because then they added perfume they added uh, rose extract rose extract is also um, very sensitizing to the skin it's not the same as rose hip oil oh. okay it's different then they added citrus fruit extract which is sensitizing literally dulcis fruit extract which is very sensitizing then they added citral lemonine linalool all fragrances now the question i get asked all the time is yeah but dr v how really yeah like, is, is it, it a big deal is it like is it like, that deep is it really going to cause major issues i'll tell you what it is it leads to something called contact dermatitis over a period of time <laughs> okay well i've got another one <laughs> i'm scared i don't want to look <laughs> <laughs> and this is sunday riley no i don't want to look I'm and i'm gonna get this up Okay, so talking about this one. Okay, so the positives are, I always talk about positives first. Tetrahexyl decal ascorbate, fat soluble. Great, love that form of vitamin C. But they've only got one form of vitamin C. So as you know, you need multiple antioxidants for it to be stable. And there's only one. Okay, yeah, we know this now. Yeah, we know this now. But they do have a citrus oil in it, which does sensitize the skin. And I'm not a fan of that. Um, but that's, you know, sort of the worst thing in this product. So, I, I mean, I personally wouldn't use it, but it's not the worst vitamin C that I've seen out there. Good to know. I'm just going to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to finish the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to use it. Yeah. Okay, so after that, I use moisturizer. This is at night. I use my creme de la mer All right, moisturizer. let's Google that. Let's look yeah. at the ingredients. I I love this so yeah. much. Yes. Tell me about this one gently, okay? okay gently, Just gently. gently. Eucalyptus? Oh, for God's sake. Mm, gently, <laughs> gently, <laughs> gently. <laughs> so Le Mer is really expensive. Literally, I think the most expensive it is cream. The most expensive. If you go into Selfridges, it's like the one counter that everyone just avoids. Yeah. Or you just might pick it up and like put it back down again when you look at it, it's like the two hundred pound like, price tag or something it's ridiculous. Like ultimate, like it's it's the biggest treat. Honestly, I tell for you, me. their marketing yeah. is something else. So, okay, look, let's talk about the positives first. So, starting off with Please. seaweed extract, love seaweed. Yeah. Um, it's basically a glucosamine glycan. It is, a, it's a humectant. It holds water in the top layer of skin, and I love that it's the first ingredient because it means that it's the highest percentage. Okay. These are irritating things now, okay? It's got lime extract, it's got eucalyptus leaf oil, it's got geraniol, linalool, limonene, citronellol. So all the fragrances. Lastly, yeah. I think you like this one. Yes. <laughs> I love finishing off my skincare routine. I've mentioned this so many times. The Drunk Elephant 
uh, Virgin Marula yeah. Luxury Facial. Love it, it's excellent. Yeah! I love yes. a lot of uh, Drunk Elephant. Like, Do you? Yeah, yeah, Drunk Elephant's got no fragrance in it. Okay, there is still, I think there's one that you don't like, but I love Which it. Which one? Is it the TLC Glycolic one? Oh yeah, yeah, but that's because it's... Harsh. Really harsh. Okay, but it works. Glad it's got no fragrance in it, right? Okay. So that's like... You know, that's the biggest thing is like, why would you? I love drunk elephant. Yeah, I love drunk elephant too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't bring out any of my drunk elephant because I was so scared. Why? I thought you just. I love like... drunk elephant. Okay. Drunk elephant's amazing. Okay, it has I like no fragrance. Drunk elephant. I like Paula's Choice. Love Paula's Choice. It has wow. no fragrance. And honestly, Paula's Choice, they are. Those are two brands that go with like science though. Yeah. That's why. And I think that's obviously what resonates with me is I'm really not about the experience. I'm more about this is amazing. what are the ingredients? Ingredients don't lie. Like yeah. that's it. Like really factual. Right. What? So we traumatize Anshul, <laughs> and Anshul needs to have a little rest right now. <laughs> I need to have a rest because I feel like I've like really abused her. Right. So what should I be using? Let's start yeah. again. Okay. So Dr. V's got a whole routine set out for me and yeah we're gonna go through it okay so we're gonna start off keep as much as we can from when she's already like her skincare so i love this and i would totally stick with this to Yay. remove makeup so that's step number one i love that so the next thing i do is you want to go with your micellar gel wash i like this i really like you it. like this yeah I, li I like micellar gel washes i use a garnier one okay. as well because what this is going to do is take away any water-based dirt so you've taken away the oil-based dirt which tends to be your sunscreen and your makeup yeah then you want to take away any water-based dirt so once you've done these two there really shouldn't be much dirt left on the skin and drugstore what versions of like these are perfect yeah good enough yeah I, I, I personally wouldn't even wouldn't spend, spend money on that no. yeah totally agree with you next thing i would go in with is your toner so this is the centella cos rx alcohol free toner it's really important that you look at the back of the packaging of your toner you don't want any alcohol yeah. back in the day i used to use yeah, alcohol right. toners because i was like yeah. yes burn my Squeaky. skin yeah, yeah strip love it, it all, amazing all of it. yeah and now i'm like it needs to be alcohol free, free yeah. yeah but there's very few actually like majority of them will have witch hazel fragrance or denatured alcohol in it so make sure you please look at the back of the packaging so it shouldn't have witch hazel avoid okay because okay. witch hazel has been distilled in alcohol which means that you have now alcohol in your face and then you have this free radical party learning learning and it's just not a party you want to be at <laughs> no, you know? I don't no. Want to we don't want to be at that party it's bad. <laughs> yeah okay so the next one i'd go in with is this i love love this yeah i love this so i'm sure a lot of us have got mask knee etc so definitely your yeah i use this to like manage breakouts basically mm. just before i'm going to get it or even when i have got one this is what I use. Definitely. I think everyone needs to buy this, honestly. Yay. So then we're gonna go in with this, which is the Retinol um, Elizabeth Arden. It's actually the first time I'm looking at this and I'm definitely gonna review this brand because yes. I'm really impressed. So this is a Retinol Ceramide Capsule. So vitamin A is essential if you, if you want to have an anti-aging skincare routine. My mum used this yeah. and she said it was amazing on her oh, wrinkles. So amazing. She's in her 60s, whereas I'm 29 and like, obviously I'm not, I haven't got major wrinkles, but I'd rather prevent. Yes. Then, yes. then try and cure. Yeah, because you want to restore collagen. I get asked this all the time. So Dr. V, when do we start our anti-aging yeah, routine? You don't want it to crinkle. If it crinkles, it will wrinkle. <laughs> put it on a t-shirt. Oh yeah, put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so definitely, I love this. Okay, um, then the next one I'm going Wait, so what yeah. age should you start? 21. 21? 21. Remember, I told you, you lose 1% of collagen after yes. 21. So even if it's not retinol, okay, yeah, I would go in with your tetrahexyl decalosorbic vitamin C because that is going to start restoring the <laughs> collagen. So look at the ingredients. Look please. at the ingredients. Okay, so if you have oily, acne-prone skin, you want to be using niacinamide. This is Notorium 12%. You can use the Ordinary, which has got a 10% version, or Paula's Choice has also got a 10% version. I actually use the... Ordinary one. Yeah. So niacinamide is great. It's great for oily skin, dry skin. Okay. It's so do I, I do I need it in my routine? If you're breaking out, yeah. then yes. Okay. If you're not breaking out, then instead I'd get the Paula's Choice Super Antioxidant Serum. That's got tetrahexyl decalascorbate okay. in it. Okay. So is that like a vitamin C? It's got multiple antioxidants, okay, okay. which I love, love, love. Is again, remember antioxidants we want in combination, otherwise it yes. doesn't work. And you want to load up your skin with antioxidants at night so that the next day, when your your skin is basically under assault from <laughs> UV, from pollution, from yeah. wind, from goodness knows what else. 
give your skin a chance. Yeah. <laughs> just give it some love. Okay, so if I've used my retinol, yeah. would I still use yes. the niacinamide? Yes, beautiful <clears throat> okay. as well. Or, or the antioxidant. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So it depends on what your issue is. Then, don't forget, skin of color, we've got less ceramides than Caucasian skin. We want to be using ceramide cream. What do ceramides do? Ceramides are like a humectant. They it's a, they trap water in the top layer of skin. So moisture, basically. Yeah, it hydrates the skin. And this Who doesn't need moisture? Yeah. Okay. What's our number one condition? It's pigmentation and dull, dull skin. Yeah. The number of people say to me, Dr. V, I don't want dull skin. How do I get glowing skin? How That's do what I... I was saying. I was yeah. like, I just don't want to look gray. Yeah. Yeah, especially now where we're wearing like less makeup day to day yeah. because we're at home, we're me wearing masks. We're wearing masks. Yeah, so we're wearing less makeup. Yeah. So yeah, we just want our skin. I, well, I personally want my skin to look good yeah. with, with no makeup. Exactly. Basically. That's the dream, right? Like, oh, who's got time? So ceramides, I love, love CeraVe. I know a lot of you have seen me talk about CeraVe. I mean, okay. it's really, you cer ceramides are actually really expensive. So I purchased ceramides for my products and it's one of the more expensive ingredients. Okay. Whereas actually CeraVe, this is, I don't know, like 16 pounds or something, which is really cheap for the amount that you're getting. So it does have good ceramides yeah. in there? Yeah, so okay. I think it's got five different ceramides in it, mm, which is okay. brilliant. And it's affordable. And it's affordable. Everyone so should be could using you, it. would you use this day and night? Yeah, day and night, no problem. Okay. pH neutral. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. definitely worth buying. And then after that, yeah. I would use... Love it. So what skin type? would you say that this particular skincare routine is yeah. for? So this I would look for, for anti-aging, oily or skin that's breaking out, especially for maskne. Okay, so yeah. not acne. No, well acne, acne you need more. So usually you're going with two and a half percent benzoyl peroxide. Um, What's benzoyl okay, peroxide? Benzoyl Where peroxide, would yeah. you find benzoyl peroxide? So um, even uh, Porter's Choice does, uh, I think two percent, two and a half percent benzoyl peroxide. Uh, okay. Um, so that's just an antimicrobial, and it's a very effective. So for example, say you use this, mm -hmm. it's going to go into your pore. It's fat soluble. It's going to unclog your pore. But then how are you going to treat the bacteria in the skin? So mm. that's when you would use your benzoyl peroxide. Now the thing to know with benzoyl peroxide is then you have benzoyl hydroxyl free radicals that are now in your skin. They're only there for a few minutes. So let it dry. <laughs> I know, I know. I was like, should I say that or not? I'm going to say it. No, no, We're no. going to all be empowered. No, I'm like, I'm learning. Oh, I'll amazing. watch this back and be like, oh. okay, okay. <laughs> uh, but these are, these basically just mean that in after a few minutes, leave it three or four minutes, and then apply your antioxidant serum. Okay. And you'll be fine. So okay. that way, you're basically getting everything that you need. So buy the Paula's Choice um, antioxidant serum. Okay, so amazing. Easy. Like easy, right? Yeah, it is easy. Yeah. I feel like once you know what ingredients to like watch out for, yeah. not use, it kind of, yeah, it kind of makes it easy. Thank you so oh, much. I'm so excited. You. I'm actually going to like take all of this in. And tonight when I take it off, I'm going to do your whole routine. Oh. So I'm really pleased. Amazing. Guys, check out a video that we've also done on Dr. V's channel. And yeah, it's a chatty one because we love to chat. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> we do. And so I'm going to leave all her like details where you can find her down below. I'm also going to leave all the products down below in the description box as well so for you to check out. And yeah, that's it, isn't it? So Aww. thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let us know if you use any of these products. Yeah. <laughs> also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And like I said, head over to Dr. V's channel for more videos. Aww. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye.